Hi bros! In today's episode, how to add extra battery to Angry Engine Pro. It's super simple, of course, free project for 3D printer is included, you can find it in the description. Is it worth it? Of course it is, because you will not only increase working range, but also the power and the lifespan of built-in battery will be even two times greater. So it's worth to do it. So how to add extra battery will go this easiest possible way, so why connector? Which means that now between battery and the controller, we've got only one connector. So we'll add one extra in parallel which means that we will not multiply the voltage, but multiply the capacity. So you have to solder two wires to old connectors, so one to the plus, which means usually red wire, and to the ground, minus, which is usually black wire. As you can see now on the screen, I did it. And this is the easiest possible way, but if you are doing that kind of mode first time, be super careful. Also, if you add extra fuels between extra battery and the controller, maybe like 20 amps, it will be even better. Because if something will go wrong, then the fuse will blow. As a power wire for extra battery, I use only 14 AVG, which will do the job, believe me. But it has this great, super thick cover, so over time there is really small chance that the wire will break. If I will find it on AliExpress, then I will link it in the description. And now if you have a 3D printer, you can print those two parts. You can find links for the files in the description. So for the biggest part, I recommend to use nylon or high quality PETG or PLA because there will be big tension from the screws which will hold the battery, so use high quality filaments. Then you will have to use inserts like this aluminum or metal ones, you can see size on the screen and melt them inside this big adapter. I set on my solder iron 270 degrees and it did the job. I also added version where you can use simple wood screws. It will be much easier to make this adapter work, but I don't know for how long it will work. I guess it's worth to try if you don't want to mess with solder iron and melting inserts. For second part, you can use flexible filament. It will prevent from scratching and moving battery around to a to higher friction. If you don't have 3D printer, you can find in the description link to my eShop where I can print those parts for you. Now just screw it down as you can see. I use only five screws and after 300 kilometers with 100 km off-road, battery is still on the spot. I just had to tie it two times the screws, but so far, this idea seems to be working quite nice because you don't have to drill any extra holes in the frame or doing any other crazy stuff. It's just plug and play, let's say. Check if adapter fits perfect, tie the screws, but not too much because you can damage the battery adapter or the printed part and not too little because battery can move around. So yeah, it's kind of tricky. And just install battery to check if all fits together, but don't connect extra battery to the system yet. So at first I connected power to adapter and I measured the voltage and then I checked the voltage on extra battery. As you can see in my case is almost the same, like literally. And then I know that I am safe to connect extra battery. If you would like to avoid this problem, there is extra adapter which allow you to connect batteries with different voltage. One can be fully depleted and one fully charged and it will not go boom. You can find the link in the description. I didn't test it yet, but soon I will check it if it will work. And that's it. Thanks to this simple wire connector, you can charge and discharge batteries at the same time without any worries because they are in one big system, so they are always in balance. And of course, you can use two chargers to charge two batteries at the same time, like two times three amps. I don't recommend to use one big charger, six or 10 amps, because built in small BMSs don't like that kind of high amperage and something will melt sooner or later. So just use two simple three amps charger. Is this fat bike any good? As you know me bros, I tested so many e-bikes, e-scoots. Usually I test them like I stole it. And I did on this fat bike over 2,500 kilometers, more than 1,000 walls on hard off-road. So yeah, as you saw on my videos, I really don't care. I just smashed it full throttle. 
And after 2,500 meters, I didn't have any problems. I just had one splat and I broke two fenders due to off-road, but it was easy fix. More about this one in the next episode. But for me, this is the best fat bike I had out of the box. You've got great working range over 50 kilometers, even if you are heavy like me, 90 kilograms, actually I'll take it over now. And the speed is over 52 kilometers per hour. All this out of the box and it's quite easy to mod.